Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's lesson is on area of circles. What you'll learn. Predict two things you will learn about area. Well, you will learn how to find the area of a circle, as the title indicates. And also, if you look through the examples in this section, you will also learn how to find the area of a semicircle or a half circle is another name for it. So in our real world link, Adrian bought an eight foot leash for her dog. Adrian wants to find the distance the dog runs when it runs one circle with the leash fully extended. Should she calculate the circumference or the area? Well, if she's looking the distance that this dog is running on the outside of this circle, that would be circumference. And our explanation can simply be the circumference is the distance around a circle. Next, suppose she wants to find the amount of running room the dog has with the leash fully extended. Should she calculate the circumference or the area and explain? Well, if she's looking for the area inside this enclosed figure, that would be area. And our explanation can be the area is the interior region, the inside region, of an enclosed figure measured in square units. Describe a real-world solution that would involve finding the area of a circle. Well, I like food, so if we think about pizza, we could compare the amount of pizza in an 8-inch pizza and a 12-inch pizza, with those inches, of course, being the diameters. Describe a real-world situation that would involve finding the circumference of a circle. Well, what if you wanted to find or measure the distance around an infant's head? Infants often get their head circumference measured to see how they're growing. Let's continue on to our examples of how to find area of circles and semicircles. Our first key concept today is find the area of a circle. The area A of a circle equals the product of pi, that 3.14 or 22 sevenths, and the square of its radius r. We just have one formula for area here. A equals pi r squared. So find the area of the circle. Use 3.144 pi. We have our area formula, pi times radius squared. We substitute in 3.14 for pi and 2 squared. Now notice, we take our radius squared first before we multiply by 3.14 
to get an approximate area of 12.56 or 12 and 56 hundredths square inches. Next, we have find the area of a circle with a radius of 14 centimeters. Use 22 sevenths for pi. Why would we use 22 sevenths? Well, we have a multiple of 7 here with the 14. And so as we use our formula, area equals pi r squared, we'll put in 22 sevenths for pi, 14 in for the radius, and notice again, we take our exponent first, we square the 14 first to get 196. We can use some cross-simplifying here to divide both those, the denominator here of 7 and the 196 by 7. And then we multiply our 22 and 28 to get about 616 square centimeters. And if we stop and reflect here, cross out the formula that is not used for finding the area of a circle. Well, we have area equals pi r squared. That looks good. Area equals 3.14 r squared. That looks good. Area equals 22 sevenths r squared. That looks good. Area equals 1 half base times height. Well, that would be a triangle, not a circle. So we can cross that one out. Now, as we move on to our got it question, do this problem to find out if we do got it. Find the area of a circle with a radius of 3 and 2 tenths centimeters. Round to the nearest tenth. Let's start off with our formula. Area equals pi r squared. And we can use 3.14 for pi here. So area is going to be about equal to as we put in our estimate for pi, our approximation of 3.14 times 3.2 squared. Now we do have to do this 3 and 2 tenths squared first before we multiply by 3.14. So area is going to be approximately equal to 3.14 times 10 and 24 hundredths. And when we multiply these together, we get about 32 and 1,536 ten thousandths. Now our directions do say to round to the nearest tenth. So we look at our one in the tenth spot, and then over to our five. The five is going to round that one up. So our area is going to be about equal to 32 and 2 tenths centimeters squared. And that is our answer. Now if you remember back to our previous lesson when we found circumference of circles, we had two formulas. We had circumference was equal to pi times the diameter, which we would use if we had a circle where we were given the diameter, and we also had circumference was equal to 2 times pi times radius when we were given circles with an identified radius. And you know, we could just use those and kind of go about and solve. However, with circles, we're not given a second formula. We're not given a formula with the diameter. We only have the one formula, area equals pi times radius squared. So in questions like example 3, when you're given the diameter, we need to get our diameter into a radius. So find the area of the face of the Virginia quarter with a diameter of 24 millimeters. Use 3.14 for pi and round to the nearest tenth if necessary. Notice the first thing, since we're given diameter of 24, that we need to do is to take half of 24 to get the radius of 12 millimeters. It's that 12 that we put in for the r when we solve for area. So area is going to be about equal to 3.14 times that 12 squared. They did the 12 squared first to get 144. Multiply by 3.14, it's about 452 and 16 hundredths, which rounds to 452 and 2 tenths square millimeters. Now let's see if we can do that on our own. The bottom of a circular pool with a diameter of 30 feet is painted blue. 
how many square feet are blue? Well, the diameter is 30 feet. What is the radius? Well, if you take 30 and divide by 2, or 30 times 1 half, you'll get a radius of 15 feet. It's that 15 that we need to calculate with. So area is going to equal pi times radius squared. Area is going to be about equal to, we'll use our 3.14 again, times our radius of 15 squared. So area is going to be about equal to 3.14 times, and just a reminder that 15 squared is not 15 times 2, is 15 times 15, which is 225. And when I multiply that by 3.14, the result is 706 and 5 tenths. So our answer is 706 and 5 tenths, our unit feet squared. And that is my solution for our example B. Now what about area of semicircles? Well, a semicircle is a half circle. The formula for the area of a semicircle is 1 half times pi radius squared. So if the area of a full circle is pi r squared, the area for a semicircle or half circle is half times pi r squared. So in example 4, find the area of the semicircle. Use 3.14 for pi. Round to the nearest tenth. Well, identify what we're given here in the circle. We're given a diameter of 16 inches. So the first thing we need to do is find the radius. Well, the radius is 8 inches. And that's exactly what we put into the formula here. 8 squared is 64 times 3.14 times a half. You get about 105 tenths. Let's see if we can do that for our example now. Find the approximate area of a semicircle with a radius of 6 centimeters. Well, we're given the radius, so we don't need to cut it in half right now. But our formula for a semicircle is going to be area equals 1 half times pi r squared. So area is going to be about equal to 1 half times... 3.14 times my radius of 6 squared. Well, 6 squared is 36. And when I multiply all three of these numbers together, I get 56 and 52 hundredths, which when I round to the nearest tenth, that 2 is not going to round that 5 up. So my area is going to be about 56 and 5 tenths centimeters squared. And in our last example on a basketball court, there's a semicircle above the free throw line that has a radius of 6 feet. Find the area of the semicircle and use 3.14 for pi, round to the nearest tenth. So for our semicircle, it's 1 half times pi radius squared. You can see where we made our substitutions in and solved and got the same exact answer we did in the last example, 56 and 5 tenths, but this time feet squared or square feet. That is it for this lesson on area of circles. Good luck.